Learning any skill is always tasking and challenging, but learning a martial arts skill takes another level of perseverance and dedication. It would help if you already have a passion for it. Now, learning the skill is not enough. You have to keep learning and practicing for years to become the very best, a master of martial arts. The greatest martial artists of all time are defined by the number of people they have influenced, their skill, knowledge, and other talents. Here are seven masters of martial arts. Yip Man. Yip Man is also known as Ip Man. He was a Chinese martial artist and a grand master of the martial art of Wing Chun. Ip Man started learning Wing Chun from Master Chan Wan Shun at a very young age. He was Chan's last student before Chan retired after suffering a mild stroke. Ip had to learn most of his skills and techniques from Chan's second most senior student, Nig Chong Sa. He did not officially run a martial arts school, but he had many students who went on to expand his influence in China and beyond. Two of his students, the famous Bruce Lee and Grandmaster William Chong, went on to become great influences in the martial arts world. Ip Man's life has been told in many movies, including Ip Man. Yagaro Kano. Kano is the founder of Judo. He started as a jiu-jitsu expert who focused on throws, but eventually he merged jiu-jitsu styles into one form that is known as judo. Technically, Kano combined the throwing techniques of the Kito Ryu and the choking and pinning techniques of the Tenjin Shinyo Ryu. When Kano began learning how to fight as a young boy, it was in a bid to learn self-defense against his bullies. Because he had a smallish stature, he had to develop a completely new fighting system that depicted maximum efficiency with minimum effort. Judo was the first Japanese martial art to gain widespread international recognition. It was also introduced into Japanese public schools. And by 1964, Judo was introduced to the Olympic program. And up till today, his Kodokan Judo style is still in use. Chuck Norris. Chuck is an American martial artist who is also famous for his time on the screen. But before Chuck delved into the movie industry, he was a master of martial arts. He is vast in various martial arts styles such as Taekwondo, Karate, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Judo, and American Tang Soo Do. He even went ahead to develop his own martial arts system, the Chuck Norris system, also known as Chun Kuk Do. The style was founded in 1990 after he studied other systems such as Shokotan, Shito Ryu, Judo, Arnis, Tang Su Do, and Hapkido. He evolved all the styles to make his own. Chun Kuk Do emphasizes self-defense, competition, weapons, grappling, and fitness. He had an outstanding karate tournament career. Gichen Funakoshi. Funakoshi had the fifth dan in karate and this was the highest rank that anyone could achieve at the time. He developed his own martial arts system, Shotokan, and today it is the most widely practiced karate style. He is even known as the father of modern karate. He had many students including Gigo Funakoshi, his son, and Hiranori Otsuka, creator of Wadu-ryu. Before he developed his martial arts style, he had trained in both of the popular styles of Okinawan Karate, Shore Ryu and Shorin Ryu. His influences can be seen in the book, The 20 Guiding Principles of Karate. It describes his philosophy on karate and training. He believed that the teachings of karate stretched beyond the walls of his schools. Bruce Lee. Born as Lee Jun Fan in 1940 in San Francisco, California, Bruce was introduced to martial arts through his father who taught him the fundamentals of Wu style. Then he learned the Wing Chun style from Master Yip Man. Bruce also learned boxing and Tai Chi. And because he was often engaged in street fights, he learned Hong Kong's street fighting culture in the form of rooftop fights. He combined different techniques from different martial arts schools to form his own hybrid martial arts style, 
the Jeet Kune Do. It means the way of the intercepting fist. His hybrid martial arts philosophy and disciplines are often credited with paving the way for modern mixed martial arts. He is considered by many to be the most influential martial artist of all time who bridged the gap between East and West. His students include famous celebrities such as Chuck Norris, Sharon Tate, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Helio Gracie. Gracie was born in Belém do Pará in Brazil in the year 1913. He is considered to be the godfather of Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighting style. As a young man, Gracie was quite active in sports such as rowing and swimming. His first contact with martial arts was at the age of 16 when he started training judo, but at that time it was referred to as Kano Jiu-Jitsu. He also learned catch wrestling along with his brothers under Orlando Americo. When he had an opportunity to teach judo, he realized that though he knew the techniques theoretically, it was much harder for him to execute. So he adapted Mitsuyo Maeda's brand of judo mixed with Nuaza ground fighting techniques and he created the Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Gracie developed his techniques to allow smaller and weaker practitioners to be able to defend themselves and defeat much larger opponents. He furthered his judo training by learning under Sumiyuki Kotani and Argentinian judo pioneer Chugo Sato. Gracie won many no-rule and few-rule matches in his lifetime, and he was ranked with the 10th degree red belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This is the highest belt anyone has received in the art, making him the Grand Master. Mas Oyama Masutatsu Oyama was a karate master who founded Kyokushin Karate. It was considered the first and most influential style of full-contact karate. Oyama began studying martial arts from the age of nine, and by 30, he opened his own dojo where he taught the fighting style of Gojo Ryu. He traveled the world teaching and demonstrating martial arts. His style included knocking live bulls unconscious with his bare hands. Sometimes he'd grab them by the horns and snap them. Oyama developed his own curriculum and was known for its tough, intense, hard hitting, but practical style. And he named it Kyokushin Kai, which meant the ultimate truth. Aside from his unique teaching style, his training emphasized breaking objects such as boards, tiles, or bricks. He believed in the practical application of karate, and this attracted many students from inside and outside Japan. He taught many students and opened many dojos with other instructors teaching his style. He invented the 100-man kumite, which is a series of 90 seconds to two-minute fights against a constant flow of adversaries. In 1963, Oyama wrote a book titled, What is Karate? and it became a bestseller in the U.S., with millions of copies sold all over the world. It is considered to be the Bible of Karate, and it has been translated into Hungarian, French, and English. His fighting prowess also included judo and boxing. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.